Good day, my schoolers. You're welcome to my school channel, and my name is Abiola. Remember, in this channel, we'll be joining you to solve the Jam CBT past question for the subject physics, the year 2013. Do not go anywhere, stay with us because we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this video segment we are solving question 16 to 29. So join me as we begin with question 16. Steam from boiling water causes more damage on the skin than does boiling water because um, even there's an experiment that demonstrates the specific latent into vaporization of steam. Okay, and this is because in the course of the experiment, we realize that when the steam condenses, okay, it releases latent heat. Definitely, there is more energy contained in steam when it compares to boiling water. Though roughly, we can take that temperature as being the same, okay? So, the correct option here will be option D. Steam brings heat more easily by convention. So, option D is a valid option. Question 17. What will happen to the boiling point of pure water when it is heated in a place 30 meters below sea level? Okay, so um, there's an indication here we have pure water that is without impurities. So we should know that there is, um, well, the pressure in the liquid, okay, it increases in direct proportion to the depth. Okay, so we are seeing that um, there's an increase in depth that is going down. Okay, so that means pressure is increased. And we also know on that boiling point that increase in pressure increases boiling point. So we know normally boiling point of water is 100. So we've certified that the uh, pressure has increased. Therefore, there will be an effect on boiling point. That means it will be more than the 100 that is the usual boiling point. So increased pressure implies increased boiling point. So option A is the correct option. Question 18. The rise or fall of a liquid in a narrow tube is because of the what? At first, um, the concept described here is capillary or capillarity or capillary action, okay? So, and we should know that um, this is as a combined effect of cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. So, where do we see this mentioned in the options provided? That is in option B. So, surface tension of the liquid is one of the combined effects that give um, that give um, existence or that give occurrence to capillarity or capillary action. So, option B is the correct option. Question 19. The mechanism of heat transfer from one point to another through the vibration of the molecules of the medium defines the concept or the term conduction, okay? Just the vibrational movement of the particles. Uh, when it comes to convection, this is C-O-N, rather, convention, this is um, heat transfer by the actual movement of the heated particles. Radiation, you don't need a material medium for its propagation, okay? Then when you talk about diffusion, you are talking about uh, movement of molecules, all right, from the region where they are much concentrated to the region of lower concentration. For instance, if you spray a particular um, deodorant or body spray in a particular part of the room, okay, it's much concentrated there. With time, it moves or circulates around the, the, the room. Okay, so that's the concept of diffusion. So the correct option here is option B for conduction. Use the link in the description below to get you to the MySchool website where you can get any of the MySchool tools, either the MySchool mobile app or the MySchool software. All you need to do is to activate it with just a token of 1,000 error and you can have a wonderful simulated Jam CBT experience of over thousands of questions. So join me as we tackle question 20. A wave that travels through stretched strings is known as what? At first, this is a material medium. This is definitely a mechanical wave, okay? So examples of mechanical wave, we talk about um, sound wave, water waves, and those that travel through strings or ropes. So the correct option is option C for mechanical waves. Do not forget to hit the like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video segment just for you. Number 21. 
a transverse wave and a longitudinal wave traveling in the same direction in a medium differ essentially in their words. So this is what um, differentiates them, okay? The direction of the vibration of the medium with respect to the direction of the travel of the wave. So which of these options presents this concept and that is found in option c the direction of vibration of the particle of the medium so option c is the correct option 22 what is the velocity of sound at 100 degrees celsius okay if the velocity of sound at zero degrees celsius is given as 340 meter per second so we should just remember that the speed of sound varies directly okay with the square root of absolute temperature so we are given at zero degrees here we are told that the speed is 340 and absolute temperature that's 273 right so we are now asked to find the speed okay when the temperature is being increased to 100 degrees celsius bringing that to kelvin scale that becomes 373 okay so the speed is unknown at this 373 okay 100 plus 273 moving from celsius to kelvin scale you had to 273 and we have this so what do we do we cross multiply so we'd have x equals root 373 right multiplies 340 over okay then we have square root of 273 when we do all of this we should have 397.4 or roughly we can just have 397 since we are working in speed or what we're calculating for is in speed so the unit should be meter per second so let's see if we have something around this value in the options provided or this exact value okay so if it's count through the options provided we find that in option c so option c is the correct option question 23 uh, if a sonometer has a fundamental frequency of 450 hertz okay what is the frequency of the fifth overtone so when you talk about quality you talk about um notes you talk about um when you talk about quality or whatever differentiates um, a particular instrument from the other okay this is a combo of fundamental frequency and the overtone or harmonics okay so and the harmonics talks about the frequency which is a multiple of the fundamental frequency so the fundamental frequency is the first one okay so we know that this if i write let me just make this ff okay that is the first multiple that we are looking at okay so now we are noted from the question that if a sonotone has a fundamental frequency of 450 hertz so what is the frequency of the fifth overtone so this is already the first so the next five will now be we already have one so the next five will be one two three four five making how many six so that will be six times the frequency 450 hertz okay when we multiply this we should have two 1700 so this is what we are looking at so let's go back to the screen and see if we can find this correct option that is located in option a so option a is your correct option 24 a man 1.5 meters tall is standing three meters in front of a pin o camera whose distance between the hole and the screen is 0.1 meter okay so what is the height of the image of the man on the screen so just recall that magnification okay equals image height over object height or image distance over object distance so whichever one we want to use in this uh, particular context we have to make a combo so that we can derive the image height, which will now give us this all right image height okay over okay let me just write this in full image height over the object height okay equals okay image distance we take it over the object distance so let's slot in the values provided from the question we're given. Um, we are told a man 1.5 meter tall. So the object height is 1.5 meter tall. So underneath here would have over 1.5, right? So uh, we are asked to find the image height from the question. What is the what is the height of the image of the man on the screen? So we are still looking for this, right? So we have what is the image distance? We are told that. Um, uh, whose distance between the hole and the screen is 0.1 meters so this is 0 
And from the question right from the beginning, we have a man 1.5 meters tall is standing 3 meters in front of a pinhole camera. So, the object distance now is 3. Okay, what do we do? We cross multiply. So, we have image distance times 3 equals 0 0.1 times 1.5. What do we do? Divide both sides by 3. So, practically, this means 0 0.1 means 1 over 10, right? Times 1.5 means 15 over 10 or 3 over 2 times this 1 over 3, right? Okay, so we can see that from the numerator we have 1 times 1, 1 times 1, that is 1. Okay, over the denominator 10 times 2, 20 times 1, 20. So 1 divided by 20 gives us 0 0.05. So this is the image height we are asked to find. So let's see if we can have this in the options provided. 0 0.05. Where is that located in the options provided? That is found in option A. So option A is the correct option. Kindly remember to use the link in the description below. Once you click on it, it's going to take you to the My School website. There you can ask your questions right now and our solution providers are going to help you out. So join me as we solve the next question. A ray of light passing through the center of curvature of a concave mirror is reflected by the mirror at what angle? So, when you refer to center of curvature, you are talking about um, the center of the sphere of which the mirror forms a part. Okay, so right here for a concave mirror at this um, center of curvature, what will happen is that this same light is reflected along the same line, along the same path. Okay, so if it is like that if that is the phenomenon which is of course very correct that means the correct option here is option a zero degrees the same part which it um strikes the mirror the same part of which uh, it is being reflected so option a is the correct option zero degrees perhaps you have better explanations or contributions you like to share please we are so much interested all you need to do use that comment section below indicate the question number and the explanations or contributions you like to share 26 Total internal reflection will not occur when light travels from where to where, okay? So one of the conditions necessary for this phenomenon to occur is that it must travel from a denser medium to a less dense medium. So we have to sort out which of these options, okay, um, that the light is moving or traveling from a less dense medium to a denser medium. So let's sort that out. Water to air, denser, less dense, okay? So uh, let's look water into glass. This is incorrect because glass is denser than air. So if light is traveling from water into glass, it will not satisfy the condition necessary for total internal reflection from glass to air. Of course, we know glass is denser than air, okay? From glass into water, this satisfies it. So option B is the only deviation or deviance that we have here. So option B is the correct option. 27. If the linear magnification of the objective and eyepiece convex lenses of a compound microscope are 4 and 7 respectively, okay, calculate the angular magnification of the microscope. Okay, so um, talking about a compound microscope, as you can see, it comprises of two converging lenses or two convex lenses, okay. Um, we have um, the objective and the eyepiece. The objective is close to the object and the eyepiece we're talking about the image, okay? So, um, to calculate the angular magnification, you will just multiply this value times this value. That is 4 times 7, and that gives you 28. So, the correct option here is option D, 28. Question 28. The angle of deviation of light of various colors passing through a triangular prism increases in the order of what? So, we are talking about the least deviation to the most deviation so we know that um, color red is least deviated so down to violet so and you can use the concept of roy beef okay red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet so we are starting from red and in between the lines we have blue so the correct option is option a red green and blue question 29 calculates the force acting on an electron of charge 1.5 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulombs okay placed in an electric field of intensity 10 raised to the power 5 okay so uh, we just have to use the simple formula electric force which is f okay equals electric charge represented by q multiplies electric field intensity 
So we are given um, Q as 1.5 times 10 to the power 19. Then for the electric field intensity, we are given as 10 to the power 5. So we can just use a um, simple uh, standard formula to, or standard method to sort this out. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 19 times 10 to plus. So we have plus 5. Minus 19 plus 5 gives us minus 14. So I should have 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 14. So let's see if we have this value provided in the options given us. So let's count through these options together. And we can find that in option D. So option D makes the correct option. Option D is the option we are looking for. Right there, we've come to the end of this video segment, but there are definitely more interesting and interactive segments to come. All you need to do to be on top of your game is to hit that like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video segment just for you.